Probably by News, you know it, I'm sure you love it. Let's have a look at this wicked song. Pretty advanced intro lead, but then we've got kind of three chords throughout the rest of it. So actually, kind of an Andy Guitar tutorial, really. Let's take a look. So this song is in the key of B minor, and this intro riff uses the B harmonic minor scale, very common scale for a lot of Muse songs, and it's not too tricky on the fingers really, it's just like a minor scale with a slight tweak. So it's well worth as a warm up just starting on the B note and playing 9th fret, then moving to uh, the 3rd string, playing 6, 7, 9, and on string 2, 7 and 8. And kind of walking up and down those. And then doing the same thing but starting from the 8th fret. Because that's all the notes of the riff in order, at least the harmonic minor notes anyway. And all the riff does is play the notes of that scale but in a 3 and then 4 note pattern. So from the first note here at the 8th fret, play 3 notes. Then go back to that first note and play four notes. Go to the second note and play another four notes. And then we finish it. Little hammer on. And flick off combo on string two. Walking back down that set of notes that we learnt already. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Starting from the second note. Two, three, four, five. Hammer on a lick and back down. Really slow and breaking down those three bits. I'll tell you the tab numbers in a second though. That's one, two, three. Play four notes. Start from the second note and play another four. Hammer on lick. And back down. Last time at that kind of tempo and that kind of teaching. Then it's that same pattern again, but starting from the second note. One, two, three, same as before. Then four notes again. Four notes again. Slightly different lick at the top, but think about this. The first time round, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Second time round, start from one note higher, but play the same thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Much better way to learn it than just from the notes in the tab, but I know a lot of you will want the notes for the tab, so here we go. It's eight, nine, six, eight, nine, Six, seven, nine, six, seven, eight. Hammer on lick between seven and eight. Nine, seven, six, and then nine, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, seven. Hammer on lick again, just moving down one fret. Ending lick. Then we just have one finishing lick. Here it comes. It's all on a barred first finger. Try not to let too many notes ring out at once. Finishing with a little bend. And that's the whole thing. It just repeats from there. Let me show you that ending one more time. Flat first finger at the seventh fret. Picking ups as we go kind of physically higher. That goes down at the ninth fret. Picking downs when we go back to that first finger. Pick the ninth fret, bend it up slightly. Unbend, first finger, first finger, middle. And that's the whole thing.
I've just noticed from playing it there at that ending, I do what's called a rolling technique. So this is from middle finger flat, and then we roll onto the tip to be able to play this note on string two, and then the note on string three, flat middle finger to the tip of the middle finger. Little rolling technique. All done with this little knuckle here. Now let's cover the general chords to the song. And the first chord at the end note of that riff is a G chord, then to a D chord, and then to F sharp. And it basically plays those notes in a round until the chorus. I've exposed your lies, baby, and it needs no big surprise. And that's just gonna go in a round. But what the guitar does is play triads. And the first triad we hear really clearly on the original recording is a D triad. And it's just as Matt Bellamy's voice goes higher into falsetto for change in hand. And I have to get asked about these triad things. They're at an intermediate level in my intermediate course anyway, that's why I teach them. And people go, when, when am I gonna use this? When am I gonna do this? Well, here you are, here's one classic example, one of Muse's biggest guitar hits. And it's the fifth fret, seventh fret, and the seventh fret on string one, two, three. Three strings, hence triad name, but that is all the notes of a D major chord as well. Then it's a D major shape, but played six, seven, six. And that's our F sharp chord. G chord next, just with that D major shape. Then moving up to 10, 10 and 11. We then play a palm muted F sharp chord. Gradually on palm muting it. And then the chords of the chorus are G, B minor, F sharp. So virtually the same as the chorus, but kind of switching it. A lot of bands would do the major chord in the chorus to give it a lift. This one. My plug-in baby. That's the B chord, second fret, fifth string root note power chord. To the F sharp on string six. And it's those three chords. I just play it with eights. the riff again. I'll leave a link to the interactive tab for this song in the description because there are some other triad things happening but that's going to get you through the bulk of the song. Have fun with that guys, I'll leave another couple of Muse tutorials on the screen for you now and you'll find more help with the techniques that enable you to play a song like this at andyguitar.co.uk in a bunch of electric guitar and lead guitar courses, loads of stuff available there, hope to see you over at the website.